Welcome back. You're watching uh, episode what? What are we on? Six? Yeah, six. So I, I decided to just draw Beetlejuice. And if you don't know who Beetlejuice is, he is a, uh, <laughs> a very iconic... Uh, what was it? Was it uh, early 90s? Early 90s uh, movie icon, basically. An old Tim Burton film played by Michael Keaton and to this day is still... <laughs> you, you can't miss Beetlejuice. Uh, or maybe it was late 80s. I don't remember. But if you haven't seen it, pause this and go watch it and then come back. <laughs> so this... This drawing is kind of uh, borderline, I don't know if I like it or not type thing. I, I changed a couple things midstream that really switched up how, how I was working on it. And at first you can see I started with much more of a cartoon look and feel. And that's the original style that I was gonna, gonna try. But as I got into it, I realized I wanna start learning how to do blends and stuff better. So. I ended up going a, a more painted method, um, and it was it wasn't just that I wanted to, to figure out how to do that better, but also I noticed that that was just kind of what I kept doing, even though I was trying not to. So I was d drawing it in solid shapes, and I noticed I would blend parts of it, and it wouldn't match. And it's like, okay, well I got to go one way or the other, and and to have this thing look pretty consistent. So. I started to just get rid of the the pen, the, the line art, and just start painting on color. And the uh, the next big thing, I guess, was the lighting. So originally, there, there's a photo of Michael Keaton in in character as Beetlejuice, and that I was using for reference. But the lighting in that photo was from his upper left, so our upper right. <clears throat> And I wanted to change up the lighting, so I wanted it to be look like he's being lit from below. But that was just like all sorts of fail. I couldn't, I could not figure out where the shadows would land and how it would work. So I ditched that and just kind of just went directly off what I saw in the photo and decided to just try and just mimic it and see if I could just kind of mash up kind of this cartoon overall feeling of it because it's very. You know, his, his neck is very elongated, his eyes are bigger than in the picture. The, there's subtle differences that are just stylized and, and not to be realistic. So I wanted to take that kind of shape and layout and just see if I could paint on kind of a, um, a, a more realistic as far as like texturing and stuff and just see what happened. So. I spent maybe a couple nights working on this, so it's about a six hour, six and a half, seven hour process here. Uh, that's why it's a longer video. Um, and I don't know, there's so much more I could do to it. I still am trying to, I got stuck in so many places where I just didn't know what to do next. I had, I had mixed and matched too many different brushes and it just was not looking consistent until closer to the end. So. It, it finally got to a point where I can call it somewhat done, <laughs> but uh, there's still so much more to do. I want to redo, I want to figure out the hair better, figure out the uh, just the overall uh, sizing of his face and stuff and proportions better. I'm not trying to match it, but at the same time it still doesn't look, it doesn't have that, that clean uh, professional illustration look in my opinion it still looks very mismatched and just kind of uh, there so I'm still trying to figure it out but one thing I did learn along the way in this one is definitely uh, well not definitely at least for me don't bury up your brushes so if you start with a brush that say soft edges and the opacity is turned way up it's very hard to go back in with a hard brush with the opacity turned way down and try to mix those together. They just, it looks like you're trying to, to mash up two things that just don't want to work. Um, so one thing that I figured out towards the end of this was to stick with one brush. So I, I stuck with a, a, a solid brush, so just a round basic brush with the opacity turned to around 80% and the flow turned to about 60%. And then the cool thing with the with the tablet is that you can set the opacity to pin pressure, and I think it's called uh, transfer or something under the the brush palette. So what that does is, as you let off the brush, it actually fades out the color, which is really cool. So I was able to finally figure out how to like blend stuff and make it look like it 
kind of sort of worked. <laughs> so anyways, that's that's kind of how it ended up. And this is a lot of fun to do, so I'm definitely going to do more. But it is, like I said, this whole thing is a learning experience for me. So they're not all going to look cool. And we'll just kind of see what happens. But here you go. This is my uh, learning experience rendition of Beetlejuice and uh, him in snake form in the background. <laughs> So I hope you like it. There'll be a wallpaper below if you want to check it out. Um, and uh, yeah, check out a couple videos that uh, that Mark over at uh, Drawing the Famous has been doing. I, I, I looked at those couple tutorials. I, I helped him just narrate, and those really came in handy with this thing, um, trying to figure out how to blend, what brush setup and stuff, and just how to kind of get a better overall looking picture. So. Yeah, I hope you like it though. <laughs> Good old Beetlejuice. Man, now I'm going to go watch this movie again. But next episode, I'm going to do kind of the same process and just see if I can fine tune it. Of course, I'm going to draw something different just uh, to keep you guys entertained. But uh, I, I'm still finding my way. So let me know what you think. Let me know what I can do better. Uh, let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. And if you didn't like that this was so long, I'm, I apologize. It, it was very hard to cram this down and have you I cut out a big chunk in the middle too and sped it up I don't know two thousand percent so there was a lot of work put into this one um, and I think going forward it's gonna be kinda like this there's gonna be uh, episodes that they're just gonna get longer so if this gets boring let me know and I will um, I'll change it up do something else figure it out and try to make it more entertaining and make it uh, maybe you can learn something out of it so the learning takeaway from this is go check out Mark's videos on the <laughs> painting tutorial. <laughs> They'll help out. All right, thanks for sticking around, guys, and I will talk to you later.